Our coverage continues now with News Nation's Robert Sherman. He joins us live as Israel this morning is telling citizens in a northern town to evacuate. Uh, Robert, good morning. What, what's the reaction there uh, to President Biden's speech? Hey there, Brian. Good morning to you. And yes, I mean, we've seen as Israeli citizens have listened to what the president has said intently and just about everyone who we've spoken with has says that they've been very satisfied with the way that the president has renewed his commitment to the country of Israel. Today, we are seeing more tensions along the northern border of Israel with Lebanon, with one town up there of more than 20,000 people, Kiryat Shmona, being evacuated. And there have been instances throughout the week in which the IDF has been evacuating citizens from northern Israel, as we have seen more and more rocket fire coming from southern Lebanon into Israel. The organization Hezbollah has taken responsibility for the majority of those strikes, saying that they serve as a warning to the IDF to back down from the Gaza Strip. But so far, those warnings have not had much of an impact on Israeli forces, as you have seen the rhetoric starting to intensify from the IDF. Some leaders still contending, as they have met with soldiers down along the Gaza Strip, that the time is now to wipe out Hamas. Listen to this. We trust you and count on you. Carry on training while there is time. Get organized. Be prepared. The command will come. Thanks, guys. We count on you. Good luck. And anyone who now sees Gaza from a distance will see it from the inside. I promise you. Constantly over the last couple of days about the Rafa crossing. This has been a big issue of contention here. President Biden announcing that he struck a deal with the Egyptians to allow 20, 20 trucks to go into the Gaza Strip. So far, that crossing has not seen any of that humanitarian go in. And of course, all of this hinges upon Hamas playing ball and not intercepting or commandeering any of those humanitarian supplies. Marky. We've talked to Palestinian families right here on the show who are pleading for that help to get in, um, you know, to help them to see another day and for their health and safety. Robert Sherman, thanks so much. They're on the ground in Tel Aviv. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.